Jesse may be joining us in a little while. Um, if you're new to our session, this is a virtual pet therapy session. Um, you may have been present at the senior center when we had visited um, in person IRL in real life with both Rexy and Whitney and um, we did some really fun activities and some great photo shoots. Hopefully um, some of you guys still have those photos. Um, just a little refresher about us. Um, again, my name's Amy and this is Whitney. She is nine months old. She's a puppy and her, her brother Rexy is six. Um, Rexy is very mellow and Whitney, as you can see, is a little bit more curious and kind of just wanting to see what's what's going on. Um, they're both toy poodles and Whitney has this adorable little white paw. Um, today we are going to follow the same format as last week. So we're going to look some, at some throwback Thursday pics um, from one of our past visits. Um, then we're going to learn something new. Today we're going to um, do a, a quick virtual field trip to the Bronx Zoo. Last week we did one to the Botanical Garden. And we're also going to learn about one animal in particular called the African wild dog, which I had no idea about before doing a little research for this session. Um, this is usually Whitney's nap time. You can see she's falling asleep. She hasn't joined us in past weeks because she's typically napping at this hour. So I'm just going to place her in her bed and grab Rexy and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So this is Rexy, who most some of you guys will recognize. He's six years old. Um, and he, he misses everybody. Here's a virtual hug. Um, so let's get started with checking out some Throwback Thursday pics. Um, these pictures are actually from November of last year. It, we did, I think, one of our first photo shoots, and the theme was Thanksgiving. Um, we didn't actually have Whitney yet, but we brought Rexy's friend, Almond, who was a puppy. So let me just share my screen and we'll take a look at some of these pictures. Maybe you'll see yourself, maybe you'll recognize some of your friends. It's always fun to kind of look back and check out some old photos. So here we go. Um, so cute, Rexy loves his friends at the senior center. Um, this is my fiance, Will, and this is the dog, Almond, who was Rexy's neighbor that we brought along. You can see here, zoom in a little bit if I can. Yeah, there we go. See, we have this little Thanksgiving setup. So much fun. I love this one, so cute. Aw. So sweet. You can hear Whitney woke up from her nap there. Sorry about that. Whitney, she hears something outside. We're almost done with the back. Whitney, enough, please. This is the last picture. So cute. Um, so now we're going to transition to a virtual field trip to the Bronx Zoo. I've actually, I've lived in New York for 10 years and have never been to the Bronx Zoo, and maybe some of you have. But they have all these like cool exhibits, and one of them I thought what Rexy would want to see as well um, is the African wild dogs. I, again, had never heard of this specific breed. Um, I'll show you a picture of what they look like. So they're like these painted, they're, the name came from, the origin of the name is for Painted Wolf. Um, and they have this like very cool painted um, coat, it looks like. And then they have these big round ears, super cute. Um, so let me now show you 
So at the broncostudio.com, they have um, a, an exhibit for the African wild dogs, and we can just take a look and see like what they're up to. Rexy, check it out. Would you want to play with that dog? So some background about these dogs are um, they're native to Africa. That's why they're called the wild African dog. Um, they used to roam all over the continent, but oh, here we go. Look, one's coming right up to the camera. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, now they really um, are in, they are really more popular in or, or live in Botswana and some other um, just a few countries. Um, they, they aren't all over the continent as they once were. Um, they like to hunt in packs of six to tw up to 20. I'll just go through some more pictures on our screen here. Um, they also, they, they were an endangered animal because a lot of farmers were nervous that these dogs were going to eat their livestock. Um, they're classified as hyper carnivores. Look at those big round ears. They're classified as hyper carnivores. So that means more than 70% of their diet is meat. Um, they are very fast. They can go up to 65 miles an hour, which is like crazy fast. Um, and one super interesting thing about them is that they, researchers have, have, um, have researched their communication patterns and they, they communicate through these like various chirps and different sounds. And one thing that's unique to this breed um, is that they have, like they will sneeze bef and sneeze back to one another to decide whether or not to go hunting for, um, for a meal. So like the alpha dog, the alpha leader will sneeze and they will respond and, and come to a collective decision about how to hunt and, or not how to, but what time to hunt. Um, let me just show you, I want to show you the puppies cause they're so cute. Um, so African wild dog puppies. And so they actually like, this one looks like a little pig, but like with their cute little round ears and um, they really haven't been domesticated in terms of like having one as a pet. Um, but you will see them in zoos across the country. Like you'll see them in Denver. Um, I think San Diego had an exhibit and also the Bronx, but it's like, they're so cute. <coughs> um, Rexy, what do you think about that? Rexy is a people person. He loves people much more than, than dogs. Um, so, so that is our little um, visit African to the wild, African wild dogs. Let's take a look at one more exhibit here. Um, it's kind of cool that everything is virtual now. Um, so let's see, we could do a bird, a lemur, or grizzly bears. I think we'll do the bears. We actually had a scary incident. We had a raccoon in our backyard in Queens, which, um, at first I thought it was a really big cat, but it turned out to be a raccoon. Luckily it just went over the fence. Let's take a look at the grizzly bears. Wow, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Rexy, what do you think? They, they look very snuggly and sweet, but we know that you really can't mess with 
bears that you see in the wild. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna stop the square and share. Um, come back here. So guys, sorry about the barking. Come for a second. Okay, we're back. <laughs> it's just one of those days here where they're a little bit disturbed by the outside sounds. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed learning a little bit more about the wild African dog. We typically do a fun quiz, so we'll we're just transition into that. Um, we'll just do three true or, true or false questions, and if you have um, a pen, you can write down your answers to keep yourself honest. Um, so the first question is um, true or false. Wild African dogs use many different communication sounds and one before they go hunting or decide when to hunt is a sneeze. So true or false. The next one, um, true or false. Wild African dogs are considered an endangered species. So just write down your answer. And the third one, um, wild African dogs are carnivores. True or false? Okay. So if you have your answers, the, the first question is true. Um, wild African dogs do use sneezes as a way to communicate when to hunt, which is so interesting. I had never heard that in another type of animal before. Um, so hopefully you learned something new. Um, two was false. Um, the second question was false. Uh, wild African dogs are, are not endangered. They used to be, but they have kind of climbed down from the official endangered species. But their population is lower in some areas due to the hunting by on behalf of farmers who don't want the dogs to eat their livestock. Which brings us to our next question, three. That answer was also false. Um, and that one was kind of tricky. So while the wild African dogs are carnivores, they're technically considered hyper carnivores because more than 70% of their diet is meat. Um, so that's that. I think next week we may go to the aquarium on our virtual trip, but if you have any ideas, let us know. Um, as usual, oh, Rexy's blowing kisses. Kisses. Oh, and he's getting ready for his nap time too. Um, we'll just do a quick little stretch together. We'll have, we'll see if Rexy can demonstrate. And then I hope you guys will tune in at 2 p.m. because at 2, uh, my fiance Will is going to be teaching um, a drawing class. Actually, this week I think it's, it's painting, but you can follow along with colored pencils. I, that's, that's what I plan to do. Um, okay, so let's do a stretch while well, Rexy demonstrate. So big, open in the morning, like you just woke up. See how far your wingspan can go. Let's do 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Lexi's blowing kisses. Yeah, he's doing it. He loves you guys. Okay, now I'll demonstrate the next stretch. We're just going to do two more. Um, just pull your elbow if you can, like make your elbow up right like this. And if you can, reach back here and kind of pull it back. That should feel really good in your upper arm. You just do it again for 10 seconds. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Wow. They are in a mood today. Mute it. So we'll just do our, thanks for your patience guys. We'll just do our last one. 
One, two, ooh. <laughs> no dogs were hurt in this <laughs> in the filming of the session. So we're gonna go back to doing our second arm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Just work it out a little bit. It feels good to do a little movement. If you're like me, you're like sitting a lot during the day. So it feels good just to have a little directed movement. Um, so I think this little, this little guy is going to join Whitney in, his, in the nap time. Um, we hope to see you guys at 2 p.m. for the painting session. Um, and you can find the Zoom link for that in the June calendar. Um, and then next week, we'll, we'll do another virtual field trip and we will learn something new, have a fun quiz, and we will send virtual kisses from me and Rexy. So that's all for now. Some more. Good job, Rex. A virtual hug. Oh, we hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and we will see you next week. Bye.